start off with some general comments from Coach Quinn. Well, I don't know if we've been tested more mentally than we were this weekend. You know, after uh, losing a game, a tough game on Monday night, not only losing it, but in the way we lost it, uh, you know, our morale and our psyche was pretty fragile. And then, you know, last night getting down 2 nothing, and then getting tying and then getting down 4-2 and battling back to get a gutsy point. And then tonight, obviously, behind one nothing, you know, behind 3-1, to one, uh, tying it up, going down 4-3, to three, making it 4-4 four to four right before in the second, and, you know, playing the third period that we did again tonight. And, uh, you know, really, you know, I don't want to say our season was on the line, but there was a lot on the line. And uh, to do what we did is says an awful lot about that group of guys in the locker room. And, uh, you know, I'm really – this is as good of a weekend as we've had all year. Coach, what do you make of uh, two guys in John McLeod and Chase Phelps being the guys who kind of kick-start it all? It seems like the two most unlikely of sources there. You know, if you're going to have success this time of year, everybody needs to contribute. Everybody. Guys that aren't dressed. It's just, you know, you don't have success without everybody contributing. And... You know, I always talk about our national championship team in 2009. Everybody knows Benino and Gilroy and Wilson and all those guys. But not a lot of people know Steve Smolinski. Well, Steve Smolinski played a huge role in us winning a national championship. And if you're going to win, you need everybody. Guys that play three games, 13 games, 30 games, doesn't matter. You're going to be ready when your name's called. Those guys have been ready all year, and they made a difference. And all these guys are making a difference. Coach, where does that third period rank for you in terms of just the best periods you guys have had this year? Like I said, we've had a lot of good third periods this year, but I think under the circumstances, that was the best third period we've had this year. Because our season, like I said, I'm not saying it was on the line. I mean, we, but you know, we needed something that we needed something good to happen. Last night we had something good happen, but we didn't get a win. Tonight we needed something good to happen and get a win, and that's what happened. And in the fashion we did it, like I said. You know, these guys are feeling pretty good. I think we, you know, we, like I said, we've been moping around and feeling sorry for ourselves and not playing good hockey. And uh, we played good hockey this weekend other than the first period last night, which after watching the film wasn't as bad as I thought, which is usually the case. Do you feel this team's confidence is back? We're getting there. I'll let you know when next weekend ends. So tonight was the first time since the BC game that you got guys had over 10 shots in the first period. What was different between tonight and last? Just our mentality. You know, I think we, you know, we definitely were, uh, you know, less defendable off the rush. I thought we attacked the offensive line with speed. We weren't slow enough to make plays. I thought when we had possession of the puck down low, we were moving our feet. We weren't defendable. We were getting pucks in that if we didn't have the play. You know, one of the things we've been talking about was pass it to the goalie if you don't have a play. <laughs> you know, let him handle it. Maybe he'll mishandle it. Get them turned around. And we've been doing more of that over the last two nights. In the first, like, um, I guess, like the first few goals you guys got, they just answered immediately back. How do you guys pa battle past the frustration, and why was the third period so different with them not answering at all? Well, we played to smarter hockey, you know, and it wasn't as high risk. You know, what was happening, I felt, and again, I'll probably feel differently watching the film, which is usually the case, is you know, I thought we were having some zone time, and the longer you're in there, guys start creeping in, and boom, all of a sudden you're giving up an odd man rush. And I kind of felt that's what was happening, and the goals were given up, you know. And, um, you know, we still have to manage the puck better. Uh, we took some big steps in the right direction this weekend. We have to take more steps in the right direction. We all know that. But, uh, you know, to me, this was about the psyche and winning. You know, I didn't care how we won. We needed to find a way to win, and we found a way to win tonight. Coach, what did you see from you and Eats this weekend? You don't want to give them odd man rushes, that's for sure. I mean, they got a good goalie. I know we got eight tonight, but the puck, you know, was jumping in for us in the third period. Um, you know, they've got some talented forwards. Their power plays lethal. Um, they're always in a the game. They're always in a game because of the talent they have with that top line. What did you make of Pat Harper's performance tonight? I'll have to double check the stat, but I think he reached 30 points tonight. He had a great weekend. I mean, he, uh, you know, he didn't feel great about himself after the World Junior. You know, you want to go metal, and he didn't play a lot. So I think, you know, usually people come back from that and take off. Our guys haven't. A lot of our guys have kind of struggled or haven't played to the best of their ability. And, you know, this weekend, I think a lot of those guys found their stride. And, you know, he certainly was one of them. I thought this was as good as he's played all year. Last thing would just be, what do you guys build from this going forward? It's a tough weekend next weekend against Notre Dame. Sure is. Sure is. We build on all the things we did well. We're going to continue to, you know, work on the things that we were good at this weekend and we're going to improve the things we weren't. And
we know what we're going to store for us next weekend. We've got a really tough Notre Dame team, and a lot's going to be on the line. And I don't know what's going on with the scores, but you know, I know that uh, you know, these two points certainly push it, put us in a better position than when the night started. And uh, you know, when I get up from here, I'll check the scores and see who I should be rooting for. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.